Okay, we're back. Uh, I did some grinding for uh, cash. Uh, what did I get? I got the normal armor, as you can see. I also got my power buster, my power razor, I'm sorry, and my range booster. Um, okay, so I also got uh, some bionic parts and, uh, and another energy pack. So we're going to go forward, onward. Sorry there, forgot what my button was. Okay. Our blurred drop ship is in the hangar main land. This means we can go to Forbidden Island. Alright. Yeah. I'm worried about Gramps. But I don't know how to fly the flutter. Don't worry, you can do it. If you have any problems, ask Data. Alright, we're going to Forbidden Island. Yes, we're ready to go. It's actually not that bad. Though the boss here is pretty, uh, pretty something. Drop off to Bidden Island, and here we go. And so, Mega Man, Mega Man, are you all right? Here you roll. I'm roll okay. does a lot of spotting for you here. Good. If you want to come back to the flutter, just get into the dropship, okay? All right then. Sorry, I skipped that. <laughs> I didn't mean to. Uh, excuse me for a moment. Sorry about that. Okay, and we're go. And we're good to go. Mega Man, be careful. It looks like there's something under the snow in front of you. These guys are kind of annoying, but not hard at the same time. So, you just shoot them. They kind of die quickly. Get the zenny. It's probably really hard to see on that camera. I apologize for that, but that's all I have. Uh, okay. This part used to freak me out when I was a kid, because all these things were just jumping out at you. I guess it's just, like, to build up for that suspense feel. You're not supposed to be here, as the name dictates, Forbidden Island. You're not supposed to be here. So, yeah. And we go on to this next section. This part also freaked me out because uh, there's just like people you here. Something. It looks like human life signs, but I'm not sure. We can come back and check it out later. For now, let's just keep looking for Grant's ship. Yeah, there are people like in the ice, huddled over. So there are people here, and this is a really uh, important thing too. What is it? Do you see something? I'm not picking up anything. That's uh, a woman in a drop ship. Hint, hint. Uh, you guys can figure stuff out on your own. I don't feel like spoiling anything. It looks like there's a person or something up ahead. But how could that be? It's not. It's a reaver bot. Ah! These guys always used to freak me out, too. I guess I was an easily scared child. It's a little weird, though, how they just come out of the, come out of the ground. And then once you shoot them, they just go crazy. I actually don't have to kill these guys. They're just kind of fun, though. And the, and the big strategy of this game is to circle, circle your enemies, always. That's pretty much the only way to beat them. I'm actually not going to deal with this 
dude that's showing up. I don't feel like it. He's not worth my time. You can sit there and uh, howl and stuff. It's none of my business. And now we have a sub boss. This guy is pretty easy, actually. There's nothing to him, really. He's pretty fast, though. But other than that, there's really nothing to him. Just circle a couple times, shoot him, run up to him, circle, shoot him, run up to him. He dies pretty quick. And, uh, yeah. This game isn't really very hard. Not on normal mode. On hard mode, it's, it's pretty insane. I will admit that. Okay. Now we're going to encounter some random battles that I'm going to ignore. Uh, we're going to have some elephants up ahead. These guys are kind of annoying. But they're not going to be that bad. There's a Reaver bot close by. This is a trick. It's like cutting your animation short. If you press forward, you can shoot a rapid fire. If you just tap forward and hold your uh, square button. like so. You shoot a lot faster than you could normally. And it's really noticeable, actually. And that's how you take care of these guys pretty fast. It's a useful trick I, I learned in my younger days. Okay, and now we've got these uh, elephants just... Yeah, I'm gonna have to wait. It's a really fun part though. Ah, oh, come on. Come on, man. Come on, man. Okay. So yeah, that's uh This is pretty much it. I'm gonna save here. Just in case. And as you can see I have other files. I'm not using those though. For obvious reasons. And uh, I don't need to ask him what I should do. I sh I'll just uh, charge up my energy and then I'm gonna take on this boss. So yeah, uh, this uh, so we're here. There's some crystal thing. The boss. The giant elephant. This guy used to give me problems when I was a kid. When I was a youngin. Because of his freaking ice things that he shoots and his shockwave. It's actually, he does a lot of damage. Especially when he actually catches you. Like, I'm doing this. Yeah, he, if he catches you, he does a ton of damage. Oh, oh boy. That's an attack that will wreck you if you get hit by it. Actually, all of his attacks do quite a bit of damage. You don't want to get hit by any of his attacks. Ugh. See? That took like a good... sixth of my health. And that was from getting hit and falling, because I don't have a... Um, Oh, I'm getting a little dangerously close here. Ooh, I don't even know how I how I dodge that. Yeah, you want to do a lot of sidestepping and jumping. And he goes down pretty easy though, if you know how to dodge his attacks. He's, he's not that hard. Most things in this game aren't. Uh, I've got a couple minutes left, but th not a minute, a uh, couple seconds for this part. Uh, the cutscene's just gonna have to go to the next part. So I'm just going to leave this going until the cutscene's over, I guess. It's dark.